Okay, guys, so let's try it out. So let's press button A. You guys think that the micro bit can fly or can be used to play as a joystick or both? The answer to that is a yes, because we can use it with the drone and as a joystick. And now let's open it. Let's first open the drone bit. Okay, so guys, this is the drone bit. And of course, these are the propeller guards and the motors and propellers. This is just a simple battery. This is the screwdriver and screws. And finally, the USB cable. Next, we open the drone bit. And here is the drone bit. Now let's look at the other side. And now let's open the propellers. We take the propeller bag, we open it up, and then we take everything that's outside. So guys, I believe these are the propeller guards, and this is the propeller and motor itself. And for the propellers, we have two white and two black, and we have four guards. So in total, we have four propeller guards, two black propellers, and two white propellers. Okay guys, so there's one white propeller that is written A2. So here it's written A2. And there is one black propeller, also written A2. And then there is one white propeller, the other white propeller, that is written B1. And then there is the second black propeller that is also written B1. Now we're going to take the A2 white propeller and we're going to put it right over here. Okay, now it's connected. And now we're going to take the B1 white propeller and we're going to put it right beside the A2 white propeller. So right like this. We put it in. So now we're going to take the B1 black propeller and we're going to put it under the A2 white propeller. We just need to make sure that the wires are at the bottom. And now the last piece, just as usual, put this right here and done. And now as you guys can see, there are these wires, but what do we do with them? Well, if we flip the drone bit, we can see that there are little spots for each propeller so we're going to just attach the wire to each one and done first let's attach this one but guys you need to be very careful with this okay and now let's add the propeller guards to the propellers so all i want to do is grab it like this and then just with some pure determination we can get this through and now that's only one now three more to go officially installed all we need to do is just add the battery right here and that will be over with so let's come right here and then let's add the battery. We just need to slide the battery and done. As you guys can see, both the red and the blue lights are currently turning on. It's been absolutely amazing. All that's left to do is just attach this micro bitch right here and that'll be the end of the installing. That's crew number one down. And now let's just attach the first and the last one. Can you guys hear that? To me, it seems like the drone is working. Time to dance. And guys, did you just see that? It just said hello and a smiley face. And now there's a smiley face. And it's asked me to press button A. But before we do that, let's just attach the rest of the screws. And now we have everything fully installed on the drone bit. Now that we've assembled the drone bit and we also added our version 2 micro bit, now then, there's only one thing missing. But well, what's that? Hmm. Well, it's programming the drone. We ain't just gonna assemble this for nothing. Guys, you can control this drone bit in many different ways. One of which is by programming it. Another way is by using this micro bit joystick or a drone controller from Lightbee. And now, let me open Lightbee for you guys. So this is Lightbee. And now let's go to Make Code and let's create a new project. And now let's try to think of something simple for this drone. Let's open Make Code, let's click on New Project and let's name it Drone Bit. Drone Bit. Okay, now we're going to open Advanced and then we're going to go to Extensions. Afterwards, we're going to search for Drone Bit. Afterwards, we click on Drone Bit and then we're going to open Drones. And then let's see, hmm. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're going to grab the initialize UAV to master mode and we're going to put that in the on start. Yes, sir. And now after this, we're going to go to input and we're going to grab an on button A pressed. Afterwards, we're going to go to basic and we're going to grab, and then we're going to grab a pause. But let's pause it for two seconds. 
Afterwards, we're going to go back to drones and we're going to do basic action takeoff. Afterwards, we're going to do UAV hovering for 10 seconds. And then finally, we're going to grab another basic action and rather than take off, we're going to do landing. So for this, it's very simple. We're going to have the UAV in master mode. It's going to take off, hover for 10 seconds and drop back down. So you guys must be wondering, why did we put a, a wait two seconds since waiting is no fun? Well, whenever we press button A, it would instantly jump off and we may not have enough time to go back. So we have these two seconds for us to go back, press button A, and then it should start. And now let's upload it to the micro bit. First, we need our good old trusty USB cable. And then we're going to be connecting the USB cable to both our computer and the micro bit. And then we're going to install it. And now that it's downloaded, let's try it out. Guys, what do you think these are? Well, this is the optical flow sensor and this is the TOF altitude sensor. And they help to hover and locate in a more precise way. So let's test it out. But before that, we put these colors so the optical flow sensor can detect it better. Because if it's all one color, it won't be able to detect that well. So, we put multiple colors. Let's get right into it. As you guys know that the sky is the limit and in the next drone video we're going to be seeing how we can use the joystick to control our drone and we're also going to be seeing how we can use a micro bit to control another micro bit so guys stay tuned and do not miss that video out and if you guys don't want to miss that video out click the notification bell and also subscribe and give a big thumbs up bye bye